and welcome to the Subjects of the Month movie for July. This month we're going to take a look at the Cell Count Analysis Report. I've imported my latest milk recording results. Can you take me through the Cell Count Analysis Report? Yep, once you've done that, you want to go to the cow's head, then to Health and Treatments, and here we can select Cell Count Analysis. Can you explain the colours? I'm guessing red shows there is a problem, green is good, but what does purple mean? You're correct, green is good. Here we can see that this cow, she finished her lactation with a high somatic cell count, but she's come in with a low one. This cow here, she's basically finished her lactation with a low somatic cell count, but she's come in high, that's why she's in red. And this cow here, basically she finished her lactation with a high somatic cell count, and again, unfortunately, she started her new lactation with a high somatic cell count. I see I can sort my worst cows based on the contribution percentage. Correct. If we click here, here we can see our problem cows. And what this is telling me here is that 525, she's only had one recording in her current lactation, and she's above this threshold, and here we can see the somatic cell count. Okay. I can see the number of times she's been over a certain value, but can I change the value? Yes, yeah, certainly. So this cow here, out of nine recordings, on seven occasions, she's been above the threshold, which we set at 150. But if you want to change that to differentiate between first carvers and cows, it's very easy. Just go to properties, and here we can say that we're going to edit it, and then we're going to change it, let's say for our first carvers, down to 125. Say OK. Remember to save settings. Say OK. And you'll see it will then recalculate the report. And there we have it. Okay, what did the graph show me? Right, just click on the graphs. And what you have here basically is a really good overview. And I can see that we have 397 cows below 100,000. And then unfortunately we have 20 cows above 500,000. Can I break it down by the, uh, the lactation number? Yeah, we've got it here. So that's for all the cows. But then I can break it down for my first carvers. So there's only three cows above 500. My second carvers. And then animals over three lactations, we can see that that's 10%, there's 15 of those cows. So this is the result from the last recording, but can I look over a period of time? Yep, this is the tab here. We can see the somatic cell count for the herd over the last two years. And then we look at it, the blue line is the percentage of cows above 400,000. Red line is the herd average. And the orange line here, that's the percentage of cows above 200,000. So overall, it's going in the right direction. Yeah, we can see that it's dropping at the moment, yes. One report that I'd like to show you, this is the third tab here. This is a clever report because what it enables us to do is to look at the last two recordings. So here I have my recording in April, and here I have the recording in May. And what we're saying is if a cow is in this block here, then that cow was high in the recording in April, and again she was high in the May recording. So we're seeing those are the cows there that are chronically infected. We have obviously our new infections and we have our cures. And so just to show you that, we can look at cow number 270. Again, if we click on it, it will take me straight to the cow records. I can then select to have a look at the milk recording. We, here we can see the red line is the cases of mastitis. And we can see, unfortunately, a high somatic cell count. What is in the summary? Okay, what you need to do then is to go back to the grid, and here we can select Summary, and this gives us a really good breakdown looking over a period of recording. So here are the milk recording dates, and then we break it down to first carvers, second carvers, and the older cows, and here we can see the new cases and the number of times above that threshold. Am I able to save this report for my vet? Yes, yeah, certainly. You can just go to Save. Or, and you can save it as a PDF or in Excel, and obviously you can email it directly to the vest as well. One thing, a little tip to remember, is there's also a second page. So if you see that, that then gives us again a very good breakdown looking over these recording dates. So these reports show clearly who my problem cows are and enables me to monitor if things are getting better or worse. Absolutely. And if you need any help or assistance on these reports, please don't hesitate to call the help desk and we look forward to helping you.